Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Tutorial. Now you are watching part 7 of the sub-series Project Settings. In this video, we are going to look at pre and post build events. In this video, we are going to look at pre and post build events. So these are all the slides from uh, previous videos. I will quickly scroll through this. Now let us look at pre and post build events. Pre build event occurs before build process. If you see the pre build and post build command lines are available under build events. So here if you see the invoked notepad and here we invoked the command calculator. So notepad is part of a pre-build event. Post-build event occurs after build completes. So in the post-build event we kept calculator. As you see, these events are available under build events. What happens when you invoke the build process? First, it will display a notepad. Then build process continues. So once build process is finished, the post build event occurs and it will display a calculator. So this will give an idea of how a developer can use pre and post build events here we just invoked the system command actually this can go as executing a batch file also so what usually happens is uh, during the pre build event um, we can use a batch file and in that batch file we can do all the file copy operation and if there are some other uh, stuff if you want to do you can do that as part of the pre-build event before the build process uh, uh, begins so um, you can resolve any dependencies all, all those stuff before build proceeds so after this pre-build event the build process which is combination of compilation and linking that will proceed and after that it will invoke the post build command so here if you want to perform any final copy operation you can do that so usually the build process will uh, deliver the output to certain location and after the post build if you want to copy any third party dll or all those stuff you can invoke one mare batch file or even you can directly invoke the dos commands so you can experiment those stuff yourself but here what we are going to do we are going to invoke uh, system commands like notepad and calculator so notepad and calculator you can run it from the run prompt itself so if you just directly give that command that's uh, enough but if you want to run a batch file you can specify the batch file location all right now we will go to the demo
here the math user project is opened now we will go to properties build events and you can see we have two build events here if you want you can type the commands or you can use macros uh, to get any uh, environment variable tied to this uh, solution so for example if you need to get a solution directory you can directly make use of it so you can use xcopy all those stuff then if you want to specify source and destination you can make use of this environment variable you can quickly have a peek of what are all the macros available and if you see this out there that's also one environment variable so if you want to copy some file from output directory we can specify the file name here for now i'm specifying abt.abc.exe to solution directory or from solution directory if you want to copy something to output directory you can make use of this macro or if you don't want to use the macro you can directly specify the absolute path for now in the pre-build event i am typing notepad then here i am typing calculator if you see here we can access this command from the run prompt so the same way visual studio will also occur now let me save this these are all build events pre-build event is tied to notepad after build that means post build event is tied to calculator let's see what happens rebuild solution it opens the notepad once project build operation is completed it invoked the calculator but if you want to see it Let me do this once again rebuild solution and if you see before anything happens this uh, pre-build event occurred and uh, compilation doesn't complete this means this notepad process is not yet completed usually this will be a batch file when you invoke a batch file and perform a lot of a copy operation uh, the build will wait for the operation to complete now let's mimic that the operation is completed and you can see the build event is occurring once the build process is completed that means when it uh, delivered the mathuser.exe immediately it invoked the calculator as part of the post build event that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.